Okay, today we're going to play another Halloween-themed game. This one's on uh, the old iPad because you can't buy it anymore on the new one, and it won't play on the new versions of the iPad. So if anyone wants to play this, I think you got to play it on Android because it's probably still available on there, or you have to uh, have it already on an old version of the iPad. Yeah, it, this took a long time to get on my iPad because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Yeah, we couldn't find it again, but we dug it up, so... All right, so we're going to do a walkthrough of this spooky manor. Hello there. This is Cheesem and Fleeksome Law Farm here. I know with good news. A long-lost relative of yours has recently died. And you have been named in the will. To claim your inheritance, you must visit the family home of Spooky Manor. Your inheritance can be found in the attic of the house. Good day to you. So you just tap on stuff on this, right? Yeah. It's kind of like a point-and-click adventure. The first time I played it, I didn't know that you actually had to tap on the phone to pick it up, so I sat there you for sat like there a solid watching minute it. watching it ring. That was the first puzzle, but you were younger then. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, yeah. notice that this is house 666. Yes. So we got to get in the house. So you just tap on the screwdriver to pick it up. That's the same with any item. So you can't get in the door, and there's nobody living to answer the door. So you take the screwdriver and you click on the board with the extra lines on it. So you, the key. You pry it up, okay. But before you can use the items, you always have to click on them in the little thing so they're highlighted green, and then you can use them. Ah. So now we can go inside. What happened? Oh, you rang the doorbell and no one answered. Okay. Yeah. So this is just a clock and a door, and we actually can't get in there. But the door is connected to the clock, so we have to figure out how to open it. And over here... His, this is one of the men who lived in this house. He was a scientist, and you can see he had an experiment planned on the chalkboard back there. Right. Well, and you you, you learn that, because you know how to play through this, so we're going to run yeah. through the whole thing, but I think you learned a lot of secrets are in the pictures, right? Mm -hmm. They tell you things. Okay. So, this is the chef. He's the one that looks the scariest out of the pictures. That looks like the face of a serial killer right there. But he was planning on making stew or something out of pigeons, red wine, and truffles. So oh. that sounds delicious. People eat pigeons and crows. Here's a lazy fat cat and a bookshelf. There's nothing we can really do with that. There's a cracked vase here, but... I don't think we could do anything with that. And there's a small hole in the floor, but we also can't do anything with that. And in here is the first ghost. This is the oh, chef. that's the ghost of the chef because he's got recognize him. Yeah, he's got the same can, hair and mustache. Yep, he looks better in this. Yeah, we can take his soup ladle right here, and then go all the way back to the clock and put it in there. Oh, use it for a pendulum. And that opens the door. So we can come in here and take this pot. And we can look at these pictures, but they're not very helpful right now. Yeah, but, yeah, they got information on them though, right? They show different yes. times. This will okay. be helpful later. What is that, 10, go back for a second, 10, 6, and 2? Yep. Okay. And then we go back to the kitchen and we give him his pot. So if you couldn't already tell... Oh, do we need to find the ingredients then, too? We do need to find the okay. ingredients and make his stew, and then he'll be happy, because ghosts only haunt places when they have unfinished business. His unfinished business is to make his stew. There's a snail here that we can pick up also. And we can't get that net, because, of course, for reasons unknown, we can't swim. But here's the oh. pigeon. I guess we can't pick it up, but we can take the shovel. You're gonna have to kill a pigeon? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh well, there's a lot of them. And the 
explored the downstairs, so now we can go upstairs. And this is the artist. Yes. And the hunter. So, These all people that lived in the house, huh? They yeah. were relatives? I guess so. There's a mouse, a spider. So his unfinished business was that he needed to catch the mouse and he wanted to paint the picture. Okay. And the scientist needed to finish his experiment. Let's go in here. There's like a trap door handle. Where? It was on the floor by the piano. Oh, okay. I just picked it up. Oh, just the handle. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. This very rickety suit of armor. And there's the mouse hole down there. Yeah, that looks like that'll slice the mouse's head open. I don't think it's long enough to reach. Oh. There's a picture. X marks the spot outside. Oh, we could probably dig there. If we... I'm just guessing because I haven't yeah. seen this whole thing. There's a phonograph, too. Yeah, that's useful later. We can also look in this and grab that. Truffle seeds. We need truffles, don't we? Yeah, that means there are truffles planted somewhere. Oh, assuming you can't, we're out here. At least we don't have to wait for them to grow. Okay. Yeah. Now we can go in here. Does that help? No, I just wanted to do that. We can take sleeping pills and tweezers from the bathroom cabinet. And we can't go in there because that door is locked. And we might as well do this door. So, I'll explain how to figure it out. Those are eyes. Hmm. And you can rotate them. Oh, where was the clue for this? It's maybe... This way. Yeah, you don't get it, do you? No, where was the clue for it? See their eyes? Oh, They're those two guys. They're all pointing in different directions. Oh, and each... Just these two guys? Oh, I see. So you gotta match those. Okay, cool. Yep. That took me a while to figure oh. out. I actually had to look that up the first time I played. Well, I can see why, because they're all in a certain order, too. Mm -hmm. Four by... Well, two by two. the artist top left, yeah. top right, and scientist bottom left, chef bottom right. That makes sense. And then here is the scientist. The experiment is not ready to power up yet. It sounds like he's just playing a slide whistle. But we can take that snail that we found earlier and put it in there. Okay. And what's on his chalkboard? certain amount of knowledge. colors. Yeah, like one well, and, and a pie chart, so there's n a number of them. Okay. To remember this, I usually go in the order of the rainbow, so I go one for red, five for orange, four G, for yellow. Biv. Ro oh yeah, R O Y G. Yep. Two for green, green, and then there's no blue, so I skip right to purple, so I go Violet. one, five, four, or two, four. That's how I remember that. And you probably don't know how that's useful yet, do you? Uh, not yet. Well, it said the sum of knowledge. Well, I guess we'll see. Knowledge usually refers oh, to books. Oh, books. Okay. So one. That's annoying. Five. Four. Two. Four. Oh, okay. Then we can go in here. Oh, it opens up a secret passage. And this is the hunter. The hunter. So, we need to get the mouse and put it in that trophy case over there. I really want to know how he killed an elephant and then mounted it on his wall. Oh, I thought you were going to say how he killed all those things, but he couldn't catch a mouse. That's Which, also true. Maybe that's... Maybe okay. he died while he was... You know, that's the whole thing. Next thing we want to like do Jerry. is take our little... He's a pretty smart mouse. I don't know how to pronounce that word. What word? This item. Uh, I don't know. Vine cutters. We can take... Secateurs? We can take the statue now, and that's going to be useful for when we finish painting that thing for the artist. This reminds me a little of Maniac Mansion. So, now, but unfortunately, we're going to have to take the sleeping pills and replace the bird food. Oh, the bird's going to get knocked out. We'll go back there later. <laughs> mm. Then we can it take the handle and put it down there. Oh, good. And there's a drain here, and that gets rid of all the pool water, but we don't have the wheel, so we can't do anything yet. And there's this door over here. Oh, you get yeah, you gotta open it. Yeah. 
There's a certain pattern. Well, where's the pattern? It must be on something, right? Yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, let's I'm... go find it. I'm gonna see what else I have real quick. Oh, we haven't gotten the truffles yet. Oh, and we right. know where those are. Those Do you are have a shovel? Front. Did you find yeah. a shovel? Okay. It was behind the bird feeder. Okay. So you just so tap there in that on area. The right side. Yeah, you just left tap side, there. Sorry. Cool. And you get them. So we can go back At least inside. we didn't have to find a pig or something. No. Nope. So we can give the truffles to the pot, and then we can go back and get the pigeon, too. How many ingredients do you have now? We just need pigeon, which Ooh. we have, and we need red wine. But okay. we haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen any red wine. So we can put the pigeon in there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he was just asleep, too. Yeah. The thing that really bothers me is that the lines on this aren't straight. Like, I know they're probably not supposed to be, but... Oh, the floorboards? The floorboards I mean, the and tiles. the tiles and the back on the wall. Uh, he's not happy about it either. Yeah. Ooh, okay. there's a lift thing, too. You can't reach it because the cord has snapped. Okay. Well, I know how to get to that. I'm just observing. Like, now we have to go find the things. pattern for that door. So, if you don't know where it is... You just gotta go back to the bedroom and go back here. See on the tic-tac-toe Oh, screen? it's the tic-tac-toe screen. So what is red and what is... Red's probably X's. Red is X's. Okay, Green so is circles. two on top and two down the side. I'll remember that. So we can go so we back down. Saw the yeah, you already saw it, but you probably weren't looking no. at it because you were paying attention to... Truffle seeds the and everything else. Vine cutters were also in there. Whoops, where am I going? Down. Go down there. Nice. And now we can go in there and we have our red oh, wine. Oh, you're in the wine cellar. Makes sense. Now, we can put that in there. We've got our stew finished. Yep. We can put that in the service lift, but we can't reach it. Oh, uh, we have to get it to finish and then they'll be happy. Alright. What do we have? We have a screwdriver, those things, a shovel, statue, tweezers, and that's it. No, I haven't seen anything yet. You don't remember how to do this, do you? No, I don't. It's been a long time since you've actually played or watched me play. I watched you play through it years ago, and I don't remember anything. I wouldn't have been able to get through it. Ring the doorbell. It's a bell. I guess that's how it Oh, works. it's just like the other bell. There's a bell, so someone hears the bell and it lifts. The bell starts the lift and the meal is served. Lord Cuthbert can now rest in peace. Yay. So, now we can get past him to wherever he was guarding. He was guarding a hammer, cheese, and a spilled bottle of ketchup. Yeah, you hope it's ketchup. Now we can take this hammer and smash, smash over that base. Base. Cool. Now we have the bronze key. Bronze key. And I'm going to assume that we oh. put the cheese in front of there. Yeah. Do you hit him with the hammer? It won't, it won't let me catch the mouse. But we can take this key for now and go in there. Yeah, let's go. Is there something else? This is the artist. Oh, yeah. So. He needs colors. We can take our statue, put Look. it up there, and take his brush. Oh. And you remember that ketchup? Yeah. That's we, what we're gonna have to paint with. We needed some red. But we only paint with ketchup. Whoops, not down there. Kitchen, right? Go past the kitchen. Oh, you gotta socks. put it on the paintbrush. Yep. Because the artist doesn't have any leftover paint. It's all on the floor. I've always wondered what that brown thing was on the suit of armor's feather. Yeah. I still don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay, let's paint. You painted I thought it was going to be more complicated. The statue. Lord Theodore can now rest in peace. What happened? These, all, these people all died at the same time, though, it sounds like. Do you ever find that out? Don't tell me if you, if there's a... Oh, well, there's... You okay. kind of understand what happened at the end. At the, okay. Looks like everyone died at the same time, because everyone's, like, halfway in the middle of stuff. We could take this wheel, and now we can go drain the pool. Right. Which lets you walk in to get the... 
net. net, which lets you catch the mouse. Yeah. You're right, you can't slice his head off. Now we can go down here. Wait, I don't understand why you have... Why do you need a mouse? Because the hunter. Oh, that, that made him happy. Unfinished That's business. right. I thought you were going to have to, like, scare the elephant or something stupid, and it turned out to be a real elephant just poking its head through. I don't know why I was thinking that. I already knew better. Now we have the net, and we can go catch the mouse. I've played too many complicated LucasArts games to not think things are this simple. This is, this is pretty nice, though. This is a very straightforward You're game. You're too slow to catch the mouse. Oh, for crying out loud. But we can get Do they mean the... physically or mentally? Probably not mentally if we're smart enough to figure this oh. out. Oh! But if you give him the net, that he'll swing was, down and grab it. That was a good puzzle. That would have been tricky. That was actually one of the ones I was able to figure out on my own. Oh, good job. Now we can go back in here. This mouse looks like a goober. Yay. Hey. <laughs> Is that a happy sound for a ghost? I guess so. Ooh, video games. Now we can play. This is actually a little mini game. Oh. But if you fail, no, it's too breakout. Yeah, if you fail too many times, it'll just ask you if you want to skip, and it'll give you a prize. Do you have to finish the whole thing? Yeah, you got to get rid of all. Of them. Oh, does it help having a pen like you're using now compared to a finger? Um, uh, not really. No. Okay. Let's... Whoa. If it hits close to the edge, it'll go in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody remembers playing Breakout. And it went back up. Whoa. This is some bad physics yep. <laughs> for the ball. It's not even a ball. It's just a square. Yeah. Well, that's what it was in the old days. Man. That's okay. You got two. I can't believe the ball actually bounces back up. Get it? Yeah. Good job. Ooh. One more. You did it. That's pretty good. That's some wonky... <laughs> I was going to say ball win. physics, but maybe that's how a square does bounce. We win a token. And these other two machines are broken. Oh. So you can't Pool use quest your token. is available on iTunes. <laughs> so is that one. Was that one of the other games? Wait, I wasn't watching. Cool Quest was one of the other games that was broken? Yeah. But you can get it on iTunes. Yeah. That's good advertising without being annoying. Now we can... Actually, I don't think I ever showed this earlier, so Wonder let's go back in here really quick. Cool Quest. You can play the piano. Alright. Rainbow colors. So we gotta figure that out. But if we take our token and put it in the gramophone... Green, purple, orange, yellow, red, blue. That's the key. And you can click it again. That's the music it. thing? Yeah, I'd need to. I need to write it down. It's green, orange, yellow, whoops, green, purple, orange, yellow, red, blue. Okay. If you got it, you got it. Wallpaper is peeling off up there, too. Okay. Green, purple, orange, yellow, red, blue. The mat lifts up. It sounds like a, a concrete brick, but it's like a piece of paper. And there's this light bulb. Oh, and a magnifying, and a magnifying glass. glass. So, let's go check on the side just real quick, because he's the only one we haven't finished yet. He still needs the butterfly and the well, flea. The flea? Yep, the flea. So to get the flea, you go over to the oh, cat. Oh, the cat, yep. Use the magnifying glass on it. <laughs> uh, you can use your tweezers and pick him up. And then while we're downstairs, let's go grab the moth, who is in here. You need a light. You need that other light bulb. You switch the bulb. Uh... So 
then once it stops flying, you can grab it. These are pretty reasonable. But if you look at these, the puzzles. times are different. What the heck happened? Okay. So now it's 3, 7, and midnight. 3, 7, 12. So that's 3, 50, 7, 30. What? And 12, 10. What, what are you talking about? It was different numbers. So that would mean it would be 350, 730, and 1210. You would have had to remember the first numbers? Well, no, you can switch the light bulbs back and forth. Oh, I just okay. Them. Whew, that's right. Switch the bulb back so I can see that. Oh. All right, that's fine. You left. I, I, I believe you. So okay, so then you get the times out of that. Okay, that's that makes sense. Let me give him the moth and the then we switch the thing right there, and it creates that monstrosity. But now he can rest in peace, and we can go up these stairs, and we see a chest with this lock. Oh, and it's got two dials, an inside one and an outside one. Okay. Three, fifty, seven, thirty. Whoops, I didn't even need to do that. 12, 10. That would have been a tough one, but it's like the last puzzle, right? But, oh, we can take that. The bearer of this document is the lawful owner of Spooky Manor. You own Spooky Manor now? Now, before I say anything, because it's going to switch to a cutscene after I leave, Yeah. but I didn't point it out on the locks that we just did on the chest. The red and the white refer to the light bulbs, so yeah. you know which one's the outside oh, and which one's the Oh, that makes sense. The red, yep. Yeah. I was just gonna ask that, but that makes sense. At mm -hmm. least the red bulb showed the runs. Pretty intuitive. Phone's ringing again. Hello there. This is Cheesem and Fleesome Law Firm here. I phone with good news. You are now the new owner of Spooky Manor. But there is one catch. You will never leave. <laughs> nice. Now I think we know why they all died. Yeah, because they were trapped in there? I don't know. Oh, did she kill them? She either murdered them or they went crazy trying to get out. Maybe. I think she's the murderer. All right. That was, uh, what was it called? Spooky Manor. Spooky Manor. All right. I don't know. Maybe no one can play this anymore, so at least you get to watch it. So. And if you can't figure it out, there are instructions. What, to tell you how to do everything? No. Oh, just how to play. How to hit the buttons. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.